Chief Architect can be used for site plans, landscaping, and deck design. Let's begin with a site plan. I'm using the Plot Plan Saved Plan view that is optimized to create a site plan for scale, layers, and defaults. I will start by creating a terrain perimeter. The terrain perimeter defines the shape of the lot in 2D and can be easily edited to the exact dimensions of the lot. You can also import terrain data from a surveyor's file. In the terrain specification, I'll set the building pad elevation to be 6 inches above the terrain and turn on the display for the bearing line information since I already have a north pointer. To create the elevation data, you can use an elevation line tool, import from a GPS, or import from a lot survey file. For this site plan, I'll draw a couple of elevation lines and set their height. Then I will place a flat terrain region. When I generate the terrain, the contours display in 2D, and in 3D, you can see the actual slope of the terrain. There are terrain tools to add features such as hills, valleys, roads, sidewalks, and retaining walls to create a complete site plan or multi-unit development. Once the terrain shape and site plans have been completed, we can begin to add landscaping features. To make it easy, I have pre-arranged landscaping beds in the library to place into the design. We can place individual plants by using the Plant Chooser. The Plant Chooser includes plant information on over 3,500 plants. There are several attributes that can be used in a search to find the ideal plants. I'll search for oak. The search results will display on the right side of the screen, which can be displayed by common or scientific name. After placing a plant, open the plant specification and learn detailed information including size, sun requirements, and hardiness zone. The hardiness zone maps make it easy to locate the area in which plants live and determine if this type of plant is appropriate for a climate region. Another way to place plants or plant beds is to use the Plant Distribute tool. For this distribution path, I'll place a juniper tree along the fence using 28 to 36 inch spacing and set the object scaling for added variability. This is a quick way to place plants that you can use to enhance your 3D renderings. To personalize the project for a client, simply take a picture of the lot, import the photo, and use it as the background so that the 3D views show the client's lot. A nice personal touch. Now that the site plan and landscaping are completed, I'll add the final element to the outdoor space, a deck. With the deck railing tool, I will draw a rectangular shaped deck. Once an area is enclosed, a deck room is created. I'll toggle the railing next to the patio to be invisible. In the deck room dialog, there are several options that can be defined for the deck, including a roof and ceiling, the deck planking size, gap, direction, and all of the structural details. Chief Architect creates the deck framing automatically, including the supports, even as the deck extends out over the sloped lot. If I turn off the deck plank layer, I can expose the deck's framing. All of these elements can be manually modified. For decks, you can get a cut and buy list for your materials. This is covered more in the cost estimating section of the video. You can add stairs, ramps, and coverings to your deck. The powerful landscaping and deck tools can help put the finishing touches on any project for construction drawings and help with 3D visualization.